This is Actar's Reviews, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar and welcome to another episode of Actar's Replica Reviews. Not sure if you guys noticed, but many an old anime has been getting a revival and or celebrating an anniversary. Sailor Moon, Pretty Cure, Macross, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and of course, Card Captor Sakura. And what better way to leech off our collective nostalgia for the series than releasing a boatload of merchandise that we, the fans, will be more than happy to sink our teeth into. Well, you can count me as one of those fans as I've recently purchased Movic's latest offering in their line of prop replicates. A 1-1 scale recreation of Sakura's staff from Cardcaptor Sakura. But to make things a little bit more interesting, I thought I'd bring out Bandai's 1998 staff to compare. With regard to issues on accuracy, I shall be using the official Cardcaptor Sakura setting material book released a couple of years back. So first things first, unlike Movic's other replicas, the staff actually comes in a rather posh packaging, a plastic tube that's pretty much perfect for display, and collecting dust and hair. I mean, there's enough static charge on this to power an entire country. On top is a label done up in Klaus Magic Circle. Out of the box, the staff itself isn't all too heavy, and all in all, it's pretty gorgeous to look at and fun to build in hand. It's completely made of plastic, but it does have some weight to it. Measuring in at 75cm, it's pretty close in size to the on-screen one. Uh, maybe a little bit too big in some areas, if you ask me. But we'll be getting into that just a little bit later. Speaking of size, the actual length of Sakura's staff was never mentioned in the series, and I couldn't find anything relating to it in any of the production material. If you want to be pedantic, going by this picture from the setting material book, taking Sakura to be 138cm as she is estimated to be at the beginning of the series, the staff is about 85.74cm, but since it does vary from depiction to depiction, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Bringing in Bandai's version, there is actually quite some history to this. As I've mentioned in my room tour video, this is pretty much the grail of my card Captain Sakura collection. Made available for a limited time in a limited quantity, this staff was the only other life-size replica of Sakura staff that you could get. Taking this one out of the box, you can see that it's slightly shorter at 60cm. However, unlike Movix, this one has a motion-activated electronic light and sound gimmick. It also gives you the option to switch between the two phrases, something that the 1999-2004 versions do not allow you to do. So, how do these two compare? Honestly, both of them have their faults. For Bandai's version, the main glaring inconsistency would of course be the feathers. In almost all of the images of her staff, we see that the feathers are indeed separate and distinct, but here it's molded in one piece, most likely as a cost-cutting or safety measure. With regard to Movic's staff, you'd think they'd be able to nail the proportions with 2015 technology, but there are several missteps. What do I mean? This can clearly be illustrated in three different places, the head, the base of the staff, and the feathers. From both the setting material book and screen captures of the anime, we can see that the head of the staff is thicker here, both in terms of height and width, making it look far blunter and fatter than it actually should be. The base of the cane suffers the exact same problem, as it's again squashed down and blunter than commonly depicted. Last but not least, the circular section of the feathers that encompasses the jewel is way too big on Movic's staff and extends beyond the back of the staff. The rest of the feathers that are supposed to curve and wrap around the back now extend straight down at almost a 90 degree angle because of it. However, I have to admit that the metallic pearl paint that Movic used for the feathers is gorgeous. In conclusion, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with Movic's rendition of Sakura's staff. It's a fine quality product that would look brilliant as a centerpiece in any card captor Sakura collection or as part of a costume. Essentially, it looks great for both display and cosplay. As a fan of the series, I believe you'd find Movic staff to be an excellent piece to add to your collection and for what you're paying, I think it's a great deal. However, as a collector, 
I have to say that it just can't beat the original. The sculpt is a little bit more accurate in some areas and the electronics and prestige far outweigh any of its negatives. It does appear much shorter when compared to the Movic version but still feels 1-1 scale due to the ambiguous size of the on-screen version. Not to mention, it also comes with a 100% accurate die-cast replica of the wand in its key form. If you are a serious die-hard fan of the series, I say track this one down. You will not regret it. So, this is Aita saying, see you guys in the next episode.